In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your data from Qualtrics once you've collected it. So go into a survey. You have to have had data collected for this in other words to actually um, download the data. So I'm going to provide an example of that. And you're going to click on that data and analysis tab. And you'll see sometimes it takes a little while for those to load, particularly if you haven't been into that survey for a while. And you're going to see um, you're going to see the various you know responses here. Okay, and once you're in that tab and you see your responses have loaded, you're just going to go to this export and import, and you're just going to click on export data, and you'll see you have a variety of options here. Now, which way you download depends on what you're going to do with your data. CSV is a general format that you can upload into any um, software. You can upload in Excel, you can upload it into any statistical software for analysis. And um, so that's what I do most often. Um, if you click on this CSV tab here, and there's other options, you're going to see various options down here. Download all fields. Um, you just want to check that. If you uncheck that, um, you've got to go into more options here um, to get some of the the things you can do here and it doesn't really actually show you what the various options are so you want to that you can download so you want to go ahead let's go ahead and cancel that let's go ahead and export data and just leave it on download all fields I thought it gave me the option of fields but it doesn't actually do that and these are um, the basic options again show these now these are my two things that I can choose before between the basic options I have what this is is let's say that your data is um, um, let's say one variable you have is gender. What it's going to do by default in, in Qualtrics is whichever gender you list at first as the option will be a one, and whichever, um, whichever option you listed second for um, gender will be a two, and so forth. So maybe one is male, two is female, three is non-binary, non or, or whatever you have there. Okay, and if you click on this particular button, it will download the numerical values. So you, you'll get a spreadsheet out of it that has one, twos, and threes in, it, in that particular column. And it does that um, for all the columns that it can. It won't if it's like a write-in response, that kind of thing. It's going to have the actual text they wrote in. But whenever it's anything that can be coded in that way, like a multiple choice, it will have it in that particular way. If instead you click on Use Choice Text, it's going to have the actual word in there that was the response option. So, in, so it's the column for gender will actually have written the word male in there, female, non-binary, and so forth. So which way you want to do it is up to you. I usually use numeric values. And then after I use numeric values, um, I um, go in and do coding in the software I'm going to use, okay? And that's the case for softwares that I can't automatically put them in the format where it gives me both for immediately. If I, want, if I download an SPSS format, it's, I, I get both at the same time. I'll show you that in a minute. So we go ahead and click on the download. And once I do that, it's going to be you know, setting it up here. It's not actually um, downloading here. It's making it available for download here. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and click on that download button. Okay. And, and that'll become available in your downloads. Okay. So it's that multi-step process. Um, you've got the various other options here. Um, tab separated values. Um, that can be helpful here. Um, then we've got an actual Excel option. It'll be Excel SX option. Okay. And here it gives you some advice about that. If you have a lot, if you have a very a large response as UTSV instead, it works a little better. But you can see the options down here are the same as the CSV, and the CSV um, can be used for most situations. You'll note in these comments here that it recommends TSV um, that opens a little bit better, opens more correctly in Excel, if you're going to use Excel. Then we've got SPSS, um, Google Drive's type spreadsheet. 
Okay, so those are the ones that are available to you to download. Um, and you're going to see that you have various options for any of these. So let's click on those more options now. The first option is by default, it will um, make it into a zip file and you've got to extract, extract that file when you're done. Um, you can, and that's the default here. You can change it to use commas for decimal, like in some countries they do that. I'm in the United States and we use periods or dots for decimal, so, so I would not check that, but some people may wish to do that. Just make sure your software understands that if that's what you're doing. Um, remove line breaks where they exist. Um, we have seen but under unanswered questions is negative 99. Seen but unanswered multi-value fields is zero. So instead of just leaving it blank, if they it tells you that they saw it but they didn't answer it, that puts in a negative 99 in there. Okay, and um, and so forth. So you've got these various options here. Um, and it tells you you can there's there's an option in Qualtrics that you can have it put questions in random order for people. There may be cases when you do that. And if so, it's going to give you some kind of a, it's going to tell you in what order they did it for each particular value and so forth. Um, so um, that's the, the basics of what you'll be doing here. And again, just hit download when you're done and that's it.